like I said, marginally competent. You know, um, this is the first episode where they've broken format, because I've already seen what the title is. A Bad's Uncontrollable Christmas. They've broken the for their naming format. Naming convention. I guess it's it could be convention or format. Either way you want to describe it. But I also see, like, because, of course, they show a thumbnail. There's always, like, for instance, for Asian population studies, there's a thumbnail of Pierce sitting with somebody. I can't quite make it out because the thumbnail's pretty small. And what looks like a bar or a table of some sort. And they've got books in front of them. There's no fucking spoiler there. Who gives a shit, right? Like, I can't even make out who he's with. No idea where they are. It may be a bar. It may be a courtroom. Maybe it's a courtroom. I may see a flag in the background. Like, it's really, you can't make it out. So these thumbnails are usually not spoilers. But in this particular case, it looks like some form of animation or a drawing or something. So it's possible this episode is animated, which makes it thematically consistent with the fact they broke the format of the title. So in other words, it's going to be visually a different format, so the title's a different format. That's just the kind of thing I would expect Dan Herman to do, because that dude, man, he thinks about this shit. He's always like six levels ahead of us. Unfortunately, when it came to Rick and Morty, he completely lost his fucking mind. Because the the names of those episodes are in, in, unpronounceable, indescribable. You can't ever fucking remember them because it's always something like Rexploitation of or Bark Rassic Park or some shit, right? Like, he, he's like, he made the numbers, he made the fucking titles incomprehensible. And you can't ever remember them. So we can't say, like, you know, if Ben's un Uncontrollable Christmas, I would be able to remember and tell somebody about two years from now because I would remember that title because you can remember it. The Rick and Morty titles, you can't fucking remember. They, they, they mean nothing. So and that's happened in the later seasons. I think it's a mistake. I mean, it's just fucking. It's not all. It's not even a mistake. It's just fucking stupid. Like I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make it so that the titles aren't spoilers, but it's just fucking stupid, man. Sometimes shit is just stupid, you know. And that's what that is. But back here, but when he still had his sanity, he knew what to do with the titles and and what they've been doing with titles so far is brilliant. But yeah, so I'm mildly spoiled. I guess it's gonna be some form of animation of some sort. So. um but it's also going to be a Christmas theme episode. So, uh, you know, their holiday themed episodes so far have been three for three. I'm pretty sure they've had one Christmas and two Halloweens, and all three of them have been excellent episodes. So, I'm expecting something awesome with this. All right, let's go ahead and get into this shit. As I queue it up, of course, I show the first second, which looked like it was a uh, the fucking intercom system with a stupid ass dean. But it didn't look hand drawn, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not an animation episode. The, the fucking thumbnail could be a misleader. But we'll find out. It's that very special. Oh, it's wrong. It is fucking animation. The entire. It's a uh, claymation. The reasons for this are obvious. They do some voiceover and then they just have the animation team work for a year. This is the first thing they recorded in the entire season. They recorded the voiceover for this. Just like the Scooby Natural on Supernatural did. They record that shit a year and a half ahead of time. And so it's one less episode they have to shoot. So you can save so much time on shooting, you know? You guys don't see it? I noticed it this morning. That's how I knew it was a special Christmas. Because clearly, <laughs> it's a whole meeting, it clearly mean the same thing to you as it does to normal people. Hmm, it might stop motion animated. What I notice, I probably wouldn't. Is there something that we can do to help you with your situation? You know, Ted? for starters, you how do I put this delicately? If you don't. And I think we should commit to the format. <laughs> start the song. Oh, shit. No. You start. I'm sure we'll join in. <laughs> Light up the trees, deck every hall, and while you can see, he's got a good singing voice. Christmas was <laughs> I get this motherfucker. What I was gonna say, how do I put this delicately? Claymation makes where whatever you look like, whatever good aesthetically pleasing your looks are, they make them worse. So Jeff is handsome, now he's ugly. Britta is attractive, now she's ugly. Annie is smoking hot, now she's just mediocre. So, you look at Jeff, it really accentuated his fucking forehead, but it's not attractive at all. Make a full face. You're right, that's it. I need to find the meaning of What's Christmas. What's the meaning of Christmas? Well, if I can find the meaning of Christmas, everything will it, go it back It would have been a cue card if I had done it faster. Sad, quick Christmas I can't believe they fooled me with the close-up of the Tragic, fucking thing. It, it looked real to me. Well, as you know, that was a sad a quick snowman. song. Apparently it means getting fondled by singing mental Jesus. cases. My snowman is alive. Yes, snowman. I'm Chang. What the hell's wrong with Oh my god. Really? 
So he was fondling this motherfucker out here in the, in the yard. Christmas is in the study room. Hey, now that you started it, how about 10 more seconds on that third button, huh? Jesus Christ, man. Very troubling. Oh, this feels safe. Shut up, William. You know, Troy's the only one he didn't really, like, look uglier Christmas wizard. with his uh, claymation version. <laughs> yeah, Troy looks fine, man. Everybody else well, looks ugly. permission, I'd like to put you into a state of Christmas Gnosis and take you on a... Christmas Gnosis. <laughs> Come on, everyone. You so, know how magic Christmas journeys work. We're in a show so that's in a special fun. version of a show that now we're going to hypnosis. So that's the third level of inception. I think it's because her eyes are too big. There's something wrong with the eyes that makes them ugly. Focus on the fly away. Hell yeah. We're in outer Christmas space. Here, winter wonderland. See how sparkly? What are you crazy? Oh, I see is a study. Shut the fuck up. Jeff in the box. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Troy Soldier. Cool. Yeah, that seems obvious. Britta, <laughs> <you're pretty good. laughs> Just <go. laughs> That's an improvement. Teddy Pierce. Teddy Pierce. <laughs> of course. Baby doll Shirley. Baby what? what? Oh, wait. Come on, man. She made out the worst. Everybody else did okay. <laughs> Accompany me on a journey with me through the Wonderland. Can you imagine pitching this story? Oh, I'm sure Dan did himself, so he can handle it. <laughs> He's pissed. Yeah. The wizard should be saying with him the whole time. I'm just saying. Like, why you keep disappearing, motherfucker? So when I say test, I mean Wonka style. I'm talking dark. Oh, My shit. Advice. Stay honest. Stay Wonka was a psycho. Christmas wizard, I got this. Terrific. <laughs> yeah, that's right, motherfucker. I like when he goes through, we can see the study hall back there. Clever stuff. What you said, right? Because you respect me too much to imagine me as a baby. Gee, exactly. Be crying up to change you. Uh, you do know why he said you were a robot, right? Because I'm yeah, a robot. Yeah, that's obvious. How about heartless and god? Yeah, there we go. Random identities, you guys. I mean, me, a ballerina. Yeah, oh, right. That, that wasn't random. <laughs> Annie, it's because you're fragile and tightly really? bound. I don't see it. Fragile. I mean, she can get hysterical, but she's tough on the inside, right? I don't see it. Make believe therapy wonderland. Therapy? Mm. All right. I am freezing Shirley with my wand. <laughs> and I am ejecting her from planet Harvard. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Diaper. So we're going to be losing people along the way. That makes the sense. It's expensive to animate this shit. Chris. So we went from a Christmas story to Willy Wonka, which he called out earlier. So, Because you even get a song when you get ejected, right? Guess I'll have to go get, get him out of here. He's too busy being the main character. <laughs> Ooh, can I sing this one? Yes, please do. <laughs> Boom! Nailed it. <laughs> He's too busy being the lead in all the other stories this season to do the voiceover, so fuck it. You know? I don't sing. And if I did, yes, I you wouldn't do. sing Christmas songs. Yep, because you're, yeah, you're just as big of a douche as he is. For not loving the cave of frozen memories is a safe place where we can observe suppressed this motherfucker. experiences. He's marginally competent. By... But he has no imagination. What room are you in? What color are the walls? Yeah, what motherfucker. Get this motherfucker. Green colored plaster. There's an oil painting of a forest above the sofa. That's right. Commit, motherfucker. I'm Commit. Where's your dad? It's Christmas, Professor. Where's yeah. What's know. up, motherfucker? Get this motherfucker. Know. <laughs> That's right. He's out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> That's right, motherfucker. That's right. Get him out of here. Blow this shit up. And I can't have anyone going beyond this point. It's on his side. That's right. Brenda, get out of here. Always. <laughs> and it's coming too. Pierce is not coming. Like I said, I came for the poop. Oh, really? That surprises me. You're out of here, Brennan. I was trying to save you. You're out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Sing your song. And you're out of here! That's right. Cry. Cry your little clay tears. Technically, CGI tears, but I prefer clay tears. That's right. He blew that shit up. Speaking of realism, 
I have to take a giant leak. Then why did you even fucking come, asshole? Jesus. That was just a complete waste of time. He should have stayed in the cave. And every year, we sit and watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Together. Every year. One of the inspirations of this. The main one is pretty much uh, Willy Wonka. It's the last day of classes. Yeah, that can't be right. She comes every year. Today must be December 8th. I see what he's doing. Okay, I get it. Now. It doesn't matter. I just need to get to the North Pole. Oh, but there is no North Pole. Shut the fuck We're up, Wizard. You're a Christmas warlock. Yeah, get his ass. You're trying to destroy Christmas because you blame your sadness on it. I'm crawling yeah. out the window. Oh, you know. Got this motherfucker. Stop out of it. Whoa. Knock his ass out. Teleporting there. Because and he's pissed. Look at her. Because <laughs> I'm a wizard. Oh, I can't hear you. I'm going to the front car. As a therapist, he's a blunt instrument. I'm reality. Always wins. You I'm wish, there. motherfucker. So he's oh, by himself. Right. At least let Annie go with him, assholes. <laughs> Kick his ass. Get his ass. <laughs> That's right, motherfucker. Man, this is fantastic. This story is so good, man. The writing is so good is what I mean. Because writing is more than story. You know, it's a lot more. A lot of it is what you think about before you ever put pen to paper. Jesus Christ. Right, where are we? We get stuck with this motherfucker. Are you serious? I didn't want to go home. It's depressing there this time of year. He didn't get a song. I should have known. He didn't get a song, so we should have known that he was coming back. God damn it. It was all there. It was all there in front of me, man. Of course, the other two didn't get a song either. So, we'll have to see. They may be back, too. Okay, so, meaning of Christmas, right? You see it? Hey, Pierce. Well, shut the fuck up. Well, can just be anywhere? Like, there? <laughs> I like his little ears. Oh, shit. Ever season of Lost on DVD. Fuck yeah, man. That's the meaning of Yes! Christmas. No, it's a metaphor. No, it's, it's the truth. Payoff. Correct. Wait, lack of payoff? Wait a minute. What the fuck did they just say? This Christmas card left... You dropped it on the floor. Yeah, he's like, fuck this. <laughs> I can share the experience with as many reputable Okay, like I said, marginally competent. Possible. He's been completely incompetent up to this point, but now he's marginally competent. Hey, this is not my fault. Yes, this it is, is motherfucker. You suck. To people. Everybody, point your magic Christmas weapons at <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, brother. This is Bust the cap on this motherfucker. Enabled. I got a better idea. Why don't we sing it? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah what? now we're talking. Can we sing while we blow Duncan away? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Get his ass. You start Bust the cap. Be a Hanukkah thing. That's what Christmas That's right. Melt his cold, cold heart. He <laughs> That's what Christmas is for. Knock his ass out. She's going to kick his ass. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> look at this. Look at look at that uh, ship teasing. Is what they call it. Ship teasing. Gives us. Yoink. Blow his ass up. Fuck him. Like I said, marginally competent. For me, it used to mean being with my mom. Now it means being with you guys. That's the ticket. I guess we don't need to be stop motion anymore. Oh well, shit. Why not just keep it going for the rest of Christmas? Yeah, we need this full episode. It's not a full episode gimmick if we stop 97% into it, right? Um, <laughs> uh -oh. We're stop motion again. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. So weird. Troy and Abed in stop motion. <laughs> that was, note for note, the absolute perfect episode. The right is just on point. This is a limit to the top of the game. Whatever happens later in the series, and I've heard varying opinions on that. Um, this is them at the very top of their game. Like, I don't think it gets any better than this. <laughs> you know, you've got meta commentary, you've got commentary, you've got the, uh, character development. You know, and, and then you've just got regular, just, uh, silly-ass, uh, pratfall jokes and shit, right? <laughs> just every single level of the writing from top down, man, is just absolute fucking perfection. Even the fact that the you know instead of in the morning they they they, they rhymed that into stop motion like I said no for no perfect I will say this um, Lost gets a lot of shit I just don't think it deserves it you know the the further away from I get from the the end of the series the more I appreciate what it was and I think it's just easy jokes and I don't understand why you know shit like Battlestar Galactica that really did drop the ball they really did waste their potential you talk about how much potential the first two seasons of Battlestar Galactica had and just completely shit the bed the rest of the series. 
they never get any shit. Maybe it's just because Lost was ten times more popular than Battlestar Galactica. I don't know. I had this conversation on Reddit recently where I talked about how disappointing Battlestar Galactica finale was because we were talking about most disappointing finales. I said that the Battlestar Galactica finale was ten times more disappointing than um, the Lost finale. And they said, well, it only had one-tenth of the fan base. And I think there's probably some validity to that. People want to take shots at whatever's the biggest thing. Game of Thrones, biggest thing, right? You're not going to take shots at, for instance, uh, the Americans finale. That had one twentieth of the fan fan base. So I think whoever's at the top of the mountain, they're gonna get the more shots, even if they don't deserve it. Where some shit maybe halfway up the mountain deserves it more. So I don't know, just something to think about. <laughs>